G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I've been wanting to try and play around with using graffiti paints on some miniatures. We've been using them for years at the studio at Knights of Dice and never really had too much of a problem. Um, it's always worked out real well, um, but the problem has been for miniatures that most of those paints are really high pressure and you know a little bit too thick. And when I, I was at uh, Villain down in Fitzroy earlier this year before coronavirus happened, uh, chatting with them, picking up some paints, and uh, they had mentioned that they were bringing back into stock the MTN 94 paints from Montana. They're uh, all matte acrylic paints, come in a massive range of colors, low pressure. Um, and so I thought, you know, I've got to get some. Waited and waited and waited. Victoria's doing really well. We've had zero cases and zero deaths for over two weeks now. Things are going amazing. Well done, everyone. And so I thought I'd give them a call and see if they were in stock. And they've got them in. So I went down there today and uh, picked up about a dozen different colors. And, you know, things to just to mess around with and play around with. And I thought, you know, why not? Let's, uh, let, you know, let's try them out on some miniatures. You know, they come in 216 different colors. And they're all matte, low pressure, uh, obviously, you know, with the, you know, being a graffiti paint or, you know, straight out paint or whatever, um, you can change the caps and stuff on them to, you know, for different sorts of effects. And as you can see from these images, you know, we'll see me priming these in a minute. It's come up really, really well. You know, that paint is super flat, both in terms of matte and surface finish that, uh, you know, hasn't obscured any detail. The figures look great. I, these are 28 mil US uh, Marines from Eureka metal figures and I thought let me try them on some plastic so I had some Lord of the Rings Urukai Scouts milling around so I thought I'll try them on some plastics with this weird reddish sort of orangey brown sort of color and you know it's beautiful and flat you know it hasn't you know beautiful surface finish ah I, th I just thought I'd throw this one in here this was from the skate park uh, just down at the end of my streets an abandoned block uh, an industrial block where people have slowly over the years been adding more and more concrete and building all these cool, you know, uh, skating obstacles and ramps and stuff and, you know, great fun. Um, so I just thought I'd, I'd throw that back in there. Uh, that's where I got the cover image from. Anyway, so I was really, really impressed with these paints. And, you know, I've never done any painting tutorials. I'm a super uncoordinated painter. So uh, I, don't, I don't normally do painting tutorials, but I thought, you know, for this one, let's go ahead and do something. So let's see the paint in action. These are the um, priming of the models. The paint is coming out. This, this can, I don't think I shook up very well. Um, it's a little bit thicker than that reddish brown color, but it's going down beautifully. It's got amazing coverage. This paint is super, super sticky. You know, th those painting pegs, were just, you know, tacky. I've never felt a paint like this. Obviously, being a graffiti paint, you, they want it to stick to stuff. And this is sticking. Uh, you know, it dried very, very quickly. You know, I probably should have left it for a little bit longer than I did. Um, but, you know, it, it came up really, really well. Here are those plastic figures. Um, straight over the bare plastic, it, it stuck beautifully and, and, and it's worked out really, really well. Um, Super impressed, super impressed. And you can see here that that mist is much, much finer. Anyway, so I thought, you know, there's no point, you know, just showing the undercoating. I thought I'd go ahead and try and film uh, some sort of uh, painting, you know, tutorial or at least just seeing it in action. So I've mixed up three different colors here from Vallejo to paint that US Marine. Um, and I'm just you know, mixing it here on the palette, thin my paint down. Uh, just so we can see it in action because I have had some uh, graffiti paints in the past before where uh, you know, our hobby paints don't really work very well over the top of them. But this one seemed to function perfectly fine. It was a, like a color primer that I've used from Vallejo or um, uh, Army Painter. You know, it didn't have any problems. You know, I'm just applying that German gray. This is how I do all my weapons. I'm really sorry for the crappy camera work. I, you know, I'm not used to painting like this. I'm an edge of the desk painter. Anyway, so I use that uh, uh, dark yellow to do the boots and the vest and the gloves and um, it's, it's working beautifully, you know, I can really see this as an option for opening up, you know, for color primers, there's 216 different colors in this range. And, you know, if any of the other colors, are, you know, if this is anything to go by, then, you know, the other paint options, you know, colors become, you know, really exciting uh, possibility, especially for, you know, uh, fantasy stuff or sci-fi where you want really bright colors. You know, with 216 uh, options, you know, you've got, you've got uh, a, a lot of choice there. 
Um, anyway, so I'm trying to pick out the flesh here. Like I said, I'm a super uncoordinated painter, so, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, this is me taking one of those figures and just rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it and seeing, you know, if that paint's going to come off. The figure at this point is probably still a little bit wet, so you can see on the front here there's a little bit of surface scuffing, um, but, you know, the paint's not coming off. Here we go, just throwing down a quick Agrax Earthshade wash on this figure just to help the details pick out. I totally forgot to put the camera on for this part, but you know it's taking the wash perfectly fine. Um, quick dry brush just to bring back some of that color and knock out uh, you know that that mutation, no, not the mutation, the mutedness <laughs> that the that the wash puts on the figure. Um, just dry, dry brushing on those base colors back onto uh, the uniform and the vest. And he's, he's come up great. You know, I was really, really impressed. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit more, uh, you know, playing around with these. I do want to try them on some terrain, which, uh, you know, we'll do soon, just so I can see what the gradients and stuff are like. Other paints that I've used don't, they're, they're, you know, they're, obviously we're not, it's not working like an airbrush. But I want to see how close to that smooth gradient that we can get um, on terrain. But anyway, there we go. Very quickly, uh, I just wanted to show you these new MTN night. Well, they're new for me. MTN ninety four paints from Montana. They're working really, really well. I'm super impressed. As a color primer for painting miniatures, um, I'm excited to keep playing around and seeing, uh, you know, what the other color options, uh, you know, provide me. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you next time. See ya.